this is Sarah, and I'm at Sin Shop right now about to cast the test mold pieces of my silicone vertebrae. So I've got this guy right here, which is the uh, test mold tray. Um, I'm gonna fill these three reservoirs up with some of this two-part rubbery crap that, uh, I don't know, if I mix them together in the right proportion, I should get three little spine piece, like, marshmallowy dews. Time to remove these things. actually turned out pretty good. So after I went ahead and made those original three vertebrae, I realized immediately that I was going to need a lot more of them before I had any idea if my design was actually going to work. So I started printing more of the test molds, and I got up to three and started filling those in, and I cranked out about another uh, 15, 16 vertebrae total. And I strung all of those together on my uh, wire. I cut the end off of my light fixture and then, you know, just kind of spent one night sandwiching 3D printed parts in between each one of the squishy vertebrae. Gotta love how I'm just sitting in my underwear with this thing in between my legs, threading them together, right? Um, <laughs> I noticed that it was pretty floppy. It's flimsy. I'm thinking that uh, once I get the, the tension correct and have it actually mounted to a base uh, with all of the, you know, the wire running through it to give it some support, it'll actually stand up on its own, maybe. My original design was a, uh, a tension spring and it wanted to, you know, pop back up and, you know, point towards the sky after it was done being pulled in a direction all by itself. So um, I, I don't know. I need to figure out how to alleviate this floppiness. Yeah. Updates to come soon.